Today was a big day in Animal Crossing, so I started off the day as I usually do by checking my mail to see what item I shopped for that came in today, and I can't even remember what I shopped for, but you know what? It's curing my actual real-life shopping habit, so you know what? It works. And when I realized I had a note from one of the villagers that I saw on another island, I knew today was going to be a huge day. But that doesn't change the fact that I had to start by watering my coconut trees that I just planted. Do I know if they need water? No. Do I care? No, because at least in this game, I can keep plants alive. So far. Then I remembered yesterday I finished getting all the items for the store and so I went to check it out and see what it's all about only for me to walk in on this conversation that lasted literally a million years. And once these two hooligans got done telling me what their store was all about, I went to look around, only to find out they were following me, as if I was gonna steal something. As if I didn't just finish collecting all the items for your guys' store. Did I see any sort of compensation for my time? No, I did not. And they were just stanced up watching me. So I said, fine, whatever, I'm gonna shop till I drop. I finally found a freaking slingshot that I've been missing before I went to check out the rest of the items, only to realize the markup in this place? Ridiculous. Absolutely not. So I hightailed it on out of there. And on my way out, I just so happened to run into my bestie here, so I decided to give him a little gift. Then, like a true homie, he returned the favor. But of course, after that, I had to run into my mortal enemy here, and I spent all yesterday trying to get her to leave me alone, yet she's trying to talk to me. So I zoomed away from her as fast as I could, and then I went to hit her house with my net, just for good measure. At the time, I thought it was a good idea to go talk to Tom Nook, but you know what? I should have known that this man was gonna have another task for me, because can any of the other residents pick up any slack or do anything? No, of course. They're here on vacation. I'm putting in work, but fine. For my new friends, I guess I will be the one to set up their houses and build all their furniture, which might I add, no one did the courtesy of me. I came over here in a tent. I was roughing it. But because I'm such a nice person, I happily obliged. And first things first, I had to go find the material to build our bridge. Until I got distracted by this cute little bug and I had to go catch it really quick. And because I'm so skilled, it took me approximately no time to find all the materials and to build this bridge. Then next I was burdened with the task to find out where to put this bridge. And this was really tricky. Because I don't take the construction of this island lightly. No, that weighs on me. Because I'm not only lazy in real life, but also in Animal Crossing, I decided to build it as close to my house as I could. But honestly, I think I would have picked here anyway because by the beach, what better spot could you have picked? And if you think of one, don't tell me. To finish off my day of hard work, I wanted to go whack my enemy a few more times because you know what? I don't forget how I was treated by you, Agnes, when I first came to the island and I got stung by wasps like four times in one day. You made fun of the way that I looked and you know what? I hold a grudge for that. 